down. Literally, that's how I want my hair to be like that too, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like long like that, mm -hmm. but then but upper part. Sorry about that, everybody. This is how it really look like, though. It's me right here. Well, God. Okay, so let's pick up the background. And this is traits now. Oh, wow. Traits are optional. Okay, let's see what's up. Ooh, a cyber runner. A chef. Laser weapons, huh? Okay. I think that was the same one as secure. Yeah, bouncer. I think I was... I think I'm gonna go for uh I might I might fuck with uh maybe bouncer or a combat medic Bounce. I'm thinking about bouncer or combat medic. Let's con let's keep going. Ugh, I don't like the laser stuff though, man. Laser gotta go. She, I might fuck with the professor though. That looks fire too. Or the explorer perk. No, I don't like that. I don't like that laser. No. Ooh, a sculpture. Ooh, a space leader though? That shit's on fire. File not found? Fuck. I'm gonna go for the file not found. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oddly, there's no information on file about your past life. Clerical on oh, Oversight, deletion by some powerful unknown faction, or was it just something of note to mention? Whatever the reason, your past is known only to you. What's important is the here and now and the path you're about to forge. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Dream home. 125,000 credit mortgage with Galbank that has been paid weekly. Okay. 
I'm about effectiveness. Mm, I might fuck with that one. Freestar Collective Settler. You gain access to special Freestar Collective Dialogue options and better rewards for some missions given by the faction. But crime bounties towards the other faction is greatly increased. Mm. You earn the attention of an annoying, adoring fan <laughs> who will show up randomly and jabber you at in sincerity, huh? Yeah, you're annoying. <laughs> sure. On the plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. Okay. You really need your time, your alone time. Escorting yourself uses less oxygen than when, but more when adventuring with other human companions. What? Exert yourself using less oxygen when adventuring alone. Okay, yeah. I might get the int introverted stuff. Extrovert? Yeah. Neon Street Route, you grew up in the main streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards for some missions on Neon. Nah. Raise Enlightenment? Yeah, check it out. You grew up as a member of Enlightenment. You gain access to special chests full of items in the House of Enlightenment in New Atlantis. Oh, fuck that. Like, no, like, I'm doing, like, self-gain, not through factions. No. You grew up worshiping the great serpent. No. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen increase when in space, but decrease on the surface. Ah, uh, that's, that's a risk. Taskmaster. Occasionally, if you, if you have crew trained in a certain ship system, that sh system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's down to below 50%. However, all crew costs twice as much to hire. Okay. You have never a, a compliment to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decrease when you're in space. Ooh. Okay. Almost done. <laughs> okay. Introvert wanted see that would be nice to have especially with what is it Ta i like taskmaster though taskmaster is pretty fire see terra Furman. if you combine this now i kind of balance it out i don't i don't think so I don't, i'm not sure if it does or not though but then i think you have base instead of negative effects i think because if you're on land on surface Especially if it's difference being in space, will that debuff you or nerf you at the same time? I'm not sure, but that's that's pretty that's pretty a good uh things together. Taskmaster, let's do it. Yep, finish. Do I have to name my character? Do I have to name my character? No, I don't think so. Okay. Wait, hold on. Where's eye color? Legally blah. Okay, that's fine. Finish. Oh, I can name my character. Okay, sweet. Name character. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? It's our payday, that's what. Sooner we get it off our hands, the sooner it isn't our problem. Hey, I'm gonna keep it to myself about what happened. Huh. Well, makes the paperwork easier. And we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. 
Oh, third person. Let's go. A constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. <clears throat> All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. I'm saying just testing the game out, just testing it. Barrett? Man! Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on yeah. Bendy? Kazal. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Doesn't even remember what happened. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? All right, a little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them.
Crimson Fleet hit us. Yo, it's on the fist for coming from inventory takes out exactly like Skyrim. It's crazy. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. it up but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head and constellation is really the only group qualified to help oh no barrett no you think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused all right i guess i did just put you all on the crimson fleet hit list how about i stay and i send your dusty here in my place I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get what? out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Don't you get it? You don't have a job here anymore. You're with those explorers now. Like it or not. Just go, all right? Figure out what happened to you when you touched that rock. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Ooh, we got our own watch. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a um, loot collector. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> We're still in one piece. Oh god, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, Bethesda, you got third person, but we can't camera switch in third person unless I'm not pressing the I'm, unless I'm not pressing the right button. Ooh, we can mark this as junk though. Hold on, let's, let's, let's check the controls system. Can I canvas? Can, can I swap roll and y'all between primary and secondary sticks when 
flight flying ships. No, okay, never mind. Uh flight uh no nah, flight damn No nah, I might turn that across here oh no fuck that shit never mind I believe it <laughs> Let's see hold on bindings no let's see Reload, cheat weapon, okay. Power, sprint, sneak. Key up, key down. No. Oh my god, so we stuck in that camera for third person. Just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. It appears you are the new captain of the frontier. Shut up. Well, shit. New captain, get out of my face. Shit, that's legit, yo. The sound effects is crazy. Okay. Saturn, use D-pad left or right to select the ship system. Use D-pad up and down to calculate power. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all the systems, including the grav drive. Well, let's see how we control the ships. Okay, okay, okay. This is how you control your battle, the battle when it comes to sh in in sh on on space. Now the D-pad left and right. You could decrease your laser slots and increase your ballistic slots. So many now if I'm using lasers, I can't use lasers no more. Okay, but I can use lasers now. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Oh, okay. To rotate, to roll over it with the in-law stick left. You've proven an and a right. Pilot. Oh, that's freaking sick. 
combat tactics because oh. that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Woo! We will need to disable their shields. Laser based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull oh, once shields are offline. Oh, that's clean! Airship fight, bro! Congratulations on surviving your first starship assault, Captain. That's hard. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. Let's get it. To fly close to it before we can access the oh, damn. Ooh. So that's the tutorial then. Okay, so where where we got to go? Deal with the Crimson Fleet? Okay, I think this is our mission area there. More Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. So now I believe this is the fast travel now. Travel between the stars, zoom out to see the entire star system. Zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled systems. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once. So distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer star first. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, this is as close I could jump. So if I were to go to this, this is where we at now. This star system. So I'm assuming we can't f travel to another planet unless we're in this menu. We can't drive there. That just takes millions of meters to get there. I get it. 
I get I I heard about that about that con about you can't drive to the planet, but you can still fast travel to a planet if you're close enough to that planet though. So let's explore. So go which quest is tracked on your hood? Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open object objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your quest objective. Okay, we only have one, so one small objective. Show on map. Can we show it on map there? There we go. Ooh, okay. Scan unavailable. Why? Okay, well, I guess we can get go there. Okay, here we go. Scan them available. Okay. This is where we got to go, and this is where we're at now. Vector. Uh, Oh, okay, we can't go back. That's why. Okay, let's just go to the main mission then. What is that? Level one? The top left right there is under system. That's pretty cool. Survey, 33%. I think this is this is where we're at right now. Destination, Narion. Wait, where's Narion? That's Crete. Wait, which is Narion? That's Aslan. Oh wait, is this whole thing Narion? And there's different galaxies in the game? Oh shit, I don't know. I don't want to confuse myself anymore though. Okay, let's just travel to Crete and see what happens. Oh, we're on our way. At least it gives you. Okay, now we at Crete now. Okay. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so that's how the game plays. The planet view of the stamp gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources and help you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab icon is in view, then select it on a map to land on there. Okay, this is how you view the planet. Once you view it, view it this way, and then you can find your mission and fast travel there. So let's go ahead and give it a scan and see what happens. Oh shit. So I guess this is the the available areas we can explore on. Oh, that's pretty cool though. Oh, we can land right there. Vol it's volcanic. Okay. What about here? Volcanic, 0%. Mountains, Crete. Okay. It lets you know about the planet before you land on there that's fucking dope though yo the resources oh look h2o it got h2o in there oh you see the resources on the left side i don't know about my scientific uh look at that h2o is water i, I know that for sure biological oh this shit is detailed as fuck holy shit okay Okay, let's let's land right here. Can we land right there? Nah, fuck that. Let's land right here. Cause that's volcanic, right? We can't land on volcanic areas. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if we can land anywhere now. That's freaking cool. I'll follow you from 
And we get land. That's that's crazy. Woo! That's a lot of gravity. Captain, protocol indigo dictates that I am to return to the lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. <laughs> Yo, talk about crazy, right? Okay, so it does. Okay, so now I'm seeing where. Okay, this is the map now. Damn, you can land any fucking where in this game. Yo, that's fucking crazy. Big ass map for one area. Okay, so. Waypoints. How do you put waypoints? I guess you can't place waypoints on here. Everything's fast travel, fast travel, fast travel. Unknown. Oh, at least we could fast travel back to the ship, though. Okay, that's that's useful.
You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. The top row represent basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skills points in that category. Oh, okay. That reminds me of, yeah, okay. Fallout was like that. You got to spend a point, some, some kind of like meter, some kind of like shade that goes over and then you're going to be able to lock this area here. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty dope though. Okay, so where are we now? Where's the mission? One small step. Right, I'm trying to I'm trying to get there, but I want to get there. Let's just travel then. So the game only showing me where my ship is at only, but not me traveling there. So I guess it's more of a manual thing for you to find your mission. I mean, to find things on the map. So if you lose track and forgot where you got those resources from, best of luck to you. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each each unique item scan pro, uh, progress your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skill like diplomacy and intimidation. Cool. Okay, so that's how you can see resources are highlighted in blue. That's how you could tell that's a resource gathering. So which one is this one? We got some HE.
I forgot how you turn off your flashlight. Oh man, I forgot. <laughs> oh shit. Oh okay, you hold LB. Hold LB to turn it on and turn it off. And then your scanner tap. Tap off. Okay. Now I see. Everything counts for energy. Everything you do on this game. I'm jumping. That, that counts for my CO2. O2. Shit. Okay, that's how you access your map. You gotta turn on your scanner and then press RB to access the map. Okay. Photo mode. Yo, my arm. Why is it my arm, yo? I guess this is going to be the first photo of the day. Hey, that dusty. That's hard. Oh, shoot. Ooh. There we go. We took a photo. Where are the photo albums at, though? Ooh, that's clean. We we'll take a photo for a day. Hell yeah! Welcome to Sunset. Oh, here we go. Photo gallery. Okay, that's how you access your photo mode. Here we go. That's gonna be for the wallpaper. Welcome to Sunset. You shine a moon tear. You guys, we're gonna continue our free roam. I'm loving Starfield already. This is crazy, but I can't have too much of it. I gotta get back to reality, everybody. I see you guys in the next stream. Peace. Fall. Starfield's dope.